Hi guys, welcome back to Fat Northern Golfers. Today we've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a Brucey bonus video. So what we're going to be doing today, so a little bit of a backstory. Me and Deck, when we both started playing golf, I was donated these by a relative, which are the McGregor Dr. X irons. And I used these for about eight or nine years. And then I kindly donated these to Deck. So these kindly. Were, these were uh, it's terrible. These were <laughs> Deck's first clubs. So both of our first clubs we ever used are these McGregors. Secondly, these are the John Letters, which are my clubs for the last 10 or 12 years, until I recently upgraded to some tailor-made burner irons. So as you can see, there's a hell of a difference between these three irons. So what we're going to do, me and Deck are going to go around and we're going to play the next couple of holes, which is a two really nice par threes, 150 yards and then a nice short one. And we're going to try and uh, see how we do with these McGregors and see if we can go what? One over through two, par three. One over through two, we're happy with that, yeah. Yeah, we're happy with that, yeah. we'll take that. Yeah. McGregor's, and then what I'm going to do is a little bonus, I'm going to hit that and that, and I'm going to compare all three of my eight irons, and you'll be able to see how far technology's come and how little I've come up. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's do it. Can I just say, look how thin that is. It's like a blade. It's, it's literally let's a blade, compare, there's no cavity. Compare it to that. I mean, that's a four iron, don't get me wrong, but that's just ridiculous. It's like sliding your debit card underneath a golf ball. <laughs> right, let's get out of two holes, let's see how we get on. Oh my Jesus. days. The wind's holding it up, though. Why don't you invest in some um, new McGregor's, mate? Some middle of green. I'm going to sell these, I'm keeping them. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot that was. Wow. So is that you going with that? How I make an eight iron. How I'm expecting to hit a 40 year old eight iron, 140 yards, I'll never know. But <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a bash, shall we? We've got a little extra, little extra for the next ball as well, something you've, you've probably never seen. And, uh, I'm going to show you that one as well. hoping for here is I'm hoping that the ball goes more than five yards and we'll be happy with that. <laughs> wow, it's so light. That's so light. Oh, it's stunning, but it's gone very yeah, That is the highest ball I think I've ever seen. That's that's one of Rory's moon so balls. Trees at the back. Yeah. That is some tried, distance. Tried absolutely smashing it. Yeah. So up next, I'm now going to hit the John Letters Trilogy T5. Again, I used these for 12 years. So if I can't hit one of these, there's something wrong. These were designed for people with about a 200 handicap. <laughs> I might have to borrow them off you. Great shot. Wind's bringing it back. <laughs> it's very short. About... The one thing you'll notice, they're so much more lofted all the clubs. So if you ever buy, if you ever buy like a 15 year old second hand club, watch how high the lofts are. And then finally, I'm going to try and hit the tailor-made burner, which is the club I always use on this hole. Should be there or thereabouts. Left of the green. Lovely. Yeah, Massive. The green. Perfect. So yeah, there you go. Lofts. Main thing you'll notice with all the clubs. One thing I will say about these, the grips, the light tape wraps around in it is absolutely vile. And all the old. They look like they're the originals as well, is that right? These are original grips, so they're, cool. at, least, they're at least 30 years old. <laughs> Not for me. Not for me. Right, let's get this ball for the bump and one. Oh, I've missed it. That's where you get no forgiveness from the soul of these. Oh, it's terrible, man. What are you going with, Sand Wedge? <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take it off that uh, table. Yeah, Sand Wedge, because why not? Look at the size of heads on them. Why have you got such big bases? I like 
I'm bumping one again. Basically, I take two of this. I bump and run from a good yard out and now a little uh, closer one. This has got to go in for bar. Release. Oh. Yeah. It's not released enough. No. Well, I'm going to move yours. I don't know why I thought it sounds like it was a push. I'm going to get that out of the way because if I don't get close to there, there's something wrong. Come round. That'll do. Knock that in, Zachy. Knock that in, mate, yeah. So that there. All being well, two foot with a sandwich, knee knocker, nailed it. That's a bogey. Bogey, one over. One over. Now. now we need a birdie because we're trying to break par. Let's see if we can get it close on this one. Right, 115 yards going for the eight iron again. Let's see if I can get a good strike. It's very difficult to hit and very difficult. Oh, deck. It's a bit thin. No, it's beautiful, that. Great yeah, shot. That could be about 10 or 12 feet away, that. That, that, that. The finger will say with blades and all the clubs like this, it shot my hand from the bottom, <laughs> that then. Still, <laughs> it's still vibrating now. <laughs> a nine iron. Nine iron. Eight iron's just it, anything to go by. This is going to go into the absolute heavens if I can end with it. Keep dragging everything there. Massive. It's just how light the arrow Oh, unlucky. Is it? I think it was straight. Seriously? I think Not it went perfectly straight, Zach. Second? Mm. Not broke at all. Gotta go in. Oh, oh no. Nice yeah, take the break out. Oh. Go on, tap that in. Look at that. Two ping putters are what let us down. <laughs> <laughs> Two ping putters. Right, guys. So that's a little insight to mine and Zach's older clubs there, the ones that we first started with. If you liked it, make sure you drop a like, comment, all that stuff. Share it with your pals. And yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you very much.